So Fago, opinion, now that we've gone through more months of him not doing much. I know I he's think got everybody two EPs or whatever, but yeah. Go on, sorry. I think everybody that says he fell off and he wasted his hype or whatever, they're gonna listen when he drops. I think so too. So that's what I don't get. Like the numbers, like obviously he's obviously gonna be compared to Yeet. I don't see why everyone seeing them now. But when you were comparing them or when I made that one video comparing them, everybody acted like it was a crazy thing to say. Right. And now everybody's like turning on him. I'm like, damn, we were talking about this months ago. Yeah. So I, I think, man, I don't even know. I, I wish I knew the roadmap for him so I could give a more detailed assessment, I guess, of where I see things going. But honestly, I think he's just going to turn into an industry artist in terms of he's going to be one of those people that they're forcing on everybody like Don and Tolliver or something yes 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 I agree he's not going to make him that go that route I agree and and Whereas by the way we're not Yeet saying Don Tolliver doesn't have organic songs because like TikTok you know he had a bunch of those songs can't feel my face or whatever yeah I mean here's here's why I am worried about it I like Sofago but narrative is so huge in this game, as you know. And right now yeah. the narrative is like compared to Yeet and then just like, I actually liked a few of the songs off of his latest EPs. I did. But well. people will write it off no matter, because people don't even listen to music nowadays. They just will take whatever the op public opinion is and that'll be their opinion. And they'll be like, oh, I, I'm only listening to Yeet. I can't fuck with Sofago. It's like they turn them on each other when it's, it's not like that. Yeah, I think I don't think it's that people don't listen to music. I think people are looking. There's so much music that they're looking to filter music. So they're sure. saying, oh, everybody's saying this is trash. All right, cool. That's trash. I'm just hopping on it. They can't all be wrong. So I'm not going to waste my time and listen to it. That's one thing that I don't think artists put their minds in the it put themselves in the mind frame of the consumer. They're just like, yo, I just dropped this project. Like, listen to it. How are you giving an opinion on it when you haven't listened to it? Which I do agree is retarded. Well, how are you giving an opinion on something you haven't listened to? But right. they're not thinking, yo, this guy's getting bombarded. You, you ever see those tweets where like, oh, this is who's dropping music today. It's like 40 people. Like, Bro, I'm not listening to all that. I'll be. Uh, yeah, I I'm, hate the. That's why when I make those, I, I drop like artists I care about, like like four. That's it. Exactly, and I think that's also like a curation thing where the people you're people that are seeing that you're not putting every popping artist that's dropping, but you're putting the popping artists that you care about. So it's a reflection of the brand. Anyway, yeah. So I think people are saying are trying to filter stuff out. They're like, I'm not going to listen to these 30 people. Yo, let me, let me know. Is that song worth listening to? That's what I think people are asking. But I think people will Even listen to it. Like you said, because a lot of the opinions come from the most concentrated, like the underground or not even underground, but the music enthusiasts, because so Fago and you'd have already passed that. Um, so I think no matter what, because the narrative, even if somebody like in an alternate dimension would actually like the song they hear, they already go in with an opinion like, oh, this is probably going to be trash, which alters their opinion on it before they even listen. And so then that just increases the chances of them not liking them, liking the song, at least perceiving it that way. And that's what I, I think, think they is, might not even listen. Well, I, I'm not talking about the people that are, are go not going to listen because I think the a lot of the narratives start at the most concentrated. But I do agree that the people aren't a lot of people just won't listen because they hear opinions about it. But even the people who are going to listen, like you said, they're going to have a biased opinion on it because they're going to be like fed that opinion beforehand right yes or or no no no. not that they're a fed the opinion about the project but fed the narrative of just his career currently yeah 
I feel like that's the whole waiting game thing too. I think when he should you can't drop. deliver. I think he should just drop music. Although he did drop. I just think that yeah. it wasn't over overwhelmingly good, which is what people were waiting for. I don't think he can make overwhelmingly good. Because if oh. you remember when Drake Yeah, like I'm a, I'm gonna toss it up to Drake. We remember when Drake dropped that I think it was it was What's Next with Lil Baby and some song with Rick Ross. It was like a three pack. Yeah. And they were good songs. And I think they that's when he charted one, two, and three. But he was saying, yo, this is just the EP. These are just these are tracks that didn't even make the album. So you're like, oh damn, like this is fire. This album gotta be crazy when I it drops. I never believe that shit. But it's it, it, it would make sense, right? Because like why why drop yeah. it if it's one some of your hottest Logically. stuff? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. And he's been teasing that CLB thing for a minute. Then CLB drops and it's mid. And then people are like, yo, what the hell is this? So like he couldn't live up to the expectation that he made. And Drake makes amazing music. So I don't so so Fago clearly he's not as talented as Drake. So that's why I don't think he can make the amazing that he's making people wait for. Right. Like Travis Scott has to make the whole album, give him like a whole all the reference tracks for it to be amazing. Uh yeah, I, I don't even know what my opinion is because I don't know what the fans want. I don't even know what I want from him. But I think that's because he waited so long in that the if OK, we always compare ye and, and we don't try to. But like, let's say Ken Carson. Ken Carson has been dropping pretty consistently to the point where, like, you know what you're getting each time and and maybe it's not it doesn't blow you out the water but like it's consistent growth i mean some people some people say you get trash every time that's just what i've heard though project x was fire x was not good was, was that real oh okay yeah, project yeah, x yeah. Was that, i think that's the one project yeah i think x people like that ago. was the project x one the the one with like kind of like the grass gra him on the grass yeah, or yeah. something like that okay yeah yeah P i remember people talking about that but see here's the, the newer thing. one people shit it on yeah, yeah. I was but here's the thing ken is the type of artist where like you're not necessarily waiting on anything currently because he drops consistently so there's no time for him to die out like i always say this so fago like is not dropping consistently so if he waits between projects and it's like mid or whatever uh he doesn't have a chance to make it back or make a comeback yeah, but is Ken Carson as hot as Sofega? Uh, let's check their streams. I'd say they're in the same ballpark. Maybe Sofega was a little bit bigger, but he had a little bit more like actual industry push. Whereas Ken is kind of going off Cardi. So, I, I mean, yeah, it's not necessarily always comparable, but all right. So he's got a 24 mil song. Sofego definitely have, has a bigger one with. Uh, the TikTok song, Knock Knock, 195 mil. God damn. That's that's bigger than each biggest song. Yeah. But it also By significant a, margin. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're so right. we don't know how much we don't know how much of that two million monthly listeners is being contributed to by that one song. Yeah, probably a lot. I mean, this is the hottest song on his profile right now yeah by far by a big multiplier yeah so that's so yeah i'm kind of like giving credit so i'm saying he could most likely be closer to ken carson like maybe right he has right it's based off one song million, rather than a career or like yeah multiple songs uh, honestly yeah but i think what i've seen though it seems that people respect sofago musically more than ken carson true so while like talent wise. may be hot now yeah 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 so while he may be hot now it may not be the case in two years although if sofago keeps waiting i don't know how long people will care that's that's what i'm saying that like people still care now enough to talk about it but when people stop talking about it and they're not even like i thought I see it less and less. Like maybe six months ago, I saw people consistently talking about his album. Now, 
I don't really see. I only we own the only reason we saw it is because Yeet reminded people. Yeet dropped, so people were like, "Oh, Yeet dropped. What the hell? Oh, Sofago hasn't dropped yet." <laughs> right, right. So that reignited the conversation around it. I think he's stressing out probably too. Oh, for sure. For sure. He's probably like it's like the Uzi situation. He's probably making he sure he still hasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Making sure it's perfect in his eyes before he drops it so that it, it like, you know, solidifies him. Plus, he's at a critical point in his career. Honestly, Uzi doesn't even need to prove himself. What did you think about the Uzi EP, though? Uh, I loved For Fun and I loved uh, Neck on Froze or I Know. Love those songs. I thought I thought it was good. Yeah like p it seems to be received very positively i enjoyed it a lot yeah. yeah i thought i think that was that was good for him i think it was too but everybody at least in the concentrated portion knew that it was old so like i don't know if it proved necessarily anything mm. you get like did, did a bunch of the songs like have snippets or something like that oh yeah the, the for fun is like both of those songs were like 2017 or some shit or like even older. Isn't well, that what people want? Maybe he just drops a new album full of old stuff. <laughs> right. Well, I talked to Don Cannon about it. He said they just wanted to drop it just like to give the fans what they want half and half of like newer shit, 2021 stuff and then old stuff. Yeah. So I think I think he bought himself a lot, a, a good amount of time with that. And I think it may make him more comfortable to work on stuff after getting positive feedback on that album. But we've been telling him the whole EP. time. <laughs> like, go back to the older shit. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's... They want me to ask you Maybe. something. Yeah, about what? Ask you seen if he thinks that Yeet's monthly listeners are kind of inflated by playlisting. If you take a look ask at his... Ask seen if he thinks that Yeet's monthly listeners if you take a look at his YouTube views on his songs compared to his monthly listeners, they seem kind of low. YouTube views on official audios or YouTube views on music videos? They didn't, they didn't say. But yeah, official audios, of course, aren't going to get as many views as the music videos. I would say no, because I, when I was doing that video comparing him to Lil Baby maybe like a week or two ago, it was all... It was barely no, it was almost no playlisting that he had. And he had maybe like seven, seven million monthly listeners. I, I would say he's the most organic artist in the game right now. Like by, by far. But they're right. Some of these songs are kind of, you know, they don't have too much. Like what? The, the talk song has 2.1 million on, on YouTube that's a lot yeah in 12 days oh all these are five days too yeah that's a lot so they'll get picked up by the algorithm plus it's not people aren't gonna keep listening like if they listen to the official audio for talk they're probably just gonna start listening to it on, on spotify or apple music. yeah or apple music afterwards yeah youtube is more of a discovery platform than like a casual listening yeah for the for the most part that's how because i use it if you just look at Yeet's biggest song, like um, Money So Big, right? That probably has significantly less on YouTube than it does on Spotify. I don't even know if there's like an official... I don't even think there's an official music video for the song. There isn't. I was thinking that .com Nirvana... Oh, there is. No. No. Yeah, there might not be. Yeah, or let's just say Poppin', right? Like, Poppin's got... It has like, 11 what, on, like, Hypertunes, which I believe is a TikTok platform on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so Poppin' has 14 million on Lyrical Lemonade. It's a music video, too. Poppin' on Spotify is, like, 56 million. Right. So there's always, like, a... Well, I would say always, but 99% of the time, there's way more plays on the Spotify one because that's just where people go after discovering I agree. There's more replay value.